put the cable all the way down to the bottom, find a straight bar that's wide enough because you're going to put your hands by your side and that's how you know how far you grab that bar. If you get a narrow one, no good, you're going to be in here. Get something nice and wide so you have room to work. Go ahead and grab that bar, stand right there, stand up nice and straight, shoulders back and down. You want to be about half a foot away from the cable, bend your knees slightly, feet are perfectly straight, shoulders back and down, look straight, curl upward. Keep your elbows in. You don't want your elbows moving around. Look at his wrists. They're nice and straight. He's not going to move them around during the set. Breathe in on the way down and blow out on the way up. Look at his body. He's not swaying around. You see people in the gym moving their backs back and forth, strenuous, not good for you. Keep it solid. We want to keep it perfect so all the pressure is right in that bicep. You can see it getting work. Another thing you want to notice. He's not swaying his arms back and forth. Go ahead, sway your arm back and forth. Notice anterior deltoid starts working, other muscles, his back could get hurt, so go ahead and lock it up. Now it's locked, it's not moving around. Pressure's all in that bicep. He's not bouncing his knees, looking straight, shoulders back and down, the wrists are straight. When you come down, make sure that your elbows don't get locked. Then it takes pressure off the bicep, the tricep gets engaged, and it puts pressure in the elbow. You don't want that. So slightly bent, that's how you know to keep your arms back here. Go ahead, curl. Breathe in on the way down, blow out on the way up.